Hey beauties and welcome back to the beauty room and for those of you that are new my name is Christy and I'm obsessed with a lot of things beauty nails the whole shabam but you guys will see that as time goes along but I want to welcome you guys back to the beauty room because we got a little something that I've been wanting to share with you guys for a while so I apologize for the wait but we're gonna be talking about Colourpop and their collab with Candyland so it's Colourpop Land um, it's a whole bunch of different things. So here's just a couple of it that I'm holding in my hand right now. So as you see, there's an eyeshadow palette, a lip gloss, some lip balms, but we're going to go more into it. So let's start right now. Okay, beauty. So like I said, this is going to be a ColourPop Candyland unboxing and review and everything will that goes with it so this is when the whole collection arrived when i was pretty much opening it up so as you can see the candy lamp packaging we have the glosses well we have one gloss lip balms the eyeshadow palette the powders the face milks the blushes everything that you could think of is in this collection so we're going to slowly go through it all swatches included but let's just look at this packaging for a little bit and see how it all looks laid out before we dive in and dissect this whole collection and give you my final thoughts on it. So it's going to be a very interesting one today. So let's go right into it. So here we have the Colourpop and Candyland collab laid out all out here on the floor. So as you can see I have the lipsticks and the lip gloss out of their packaging and so is the palette there you have the face milks you have the powder you have the blushes and it's it's very adorable I will definitely say that look at that candy castle and then you have the super shock cheeks look at the detail in the lipstick color pop bland the detail on the packaging as well this I am very excited about because the last time Colourpop had anything of a roller gloss was with the Becky G collab which we all know was never restocked and pretty much forgotten about <laughs> and some of us might know why but that'll be another issue for another story time and then we have the face milks there and then we have the, the powder and the puff in here, which I love the packaging on this right there. Another super shock cheek. Cheek, sorry. <laughs> but it is a little bit chic. Let's not let's not be boozy. It's like that. So yep, another lipstick. But let's open up one of these lipsticks and see how it looks. So here is one of these lipsticks. And it is Peppermint Frost. It's like a nice pink. Although this one looks like it has a little bit of... Hmm. But yeah, here it is. I definitely like the whole... I don't know why this is making me think of Christmas already with these candy canes. I know it's supposed to be Candyland. It's making me think Christmas. So that's one lipstick. Here is the other, and this is Let's Chill. And it's like another pink lipstick. I definitely like this whole candy cane vibes that it's has on like the whole packaging for the lipsticks and then last but not least we have Mr. Mint last but not least Mr. Mint and this is more like a I wanna s ooh this is adorable I like this I wanna say it's kind of more like a peachy close to new type of lipstick but I definitely like this right now. Out of the three, I probably like that one a little bit more color-wise. 
right now but we are going to swatch them just like we are going to swatch everything that is here so you guys can get a closer look and then we're going to take everything else out of the packaging so you guys can get a better look at it but so far you can't say this isn't adorable because it is it's definitely cute off first glance I just, like my only regret is I didn't get the PR box because it came with the whole game but we'll get into that a little bit later in my little blabber mouth that likes to go on and on and on but let's go a little bit more into the rest of the products in this collection so since we already have the lipsticks open why don't we just swatch those out first so we'll do Mr. Mint and then going backwards you know so let's swatch those out real quick so before I show you guys the swatches, I just realized something, and it just made me even more happy. These are not lipsticks, they are lip balms. Because I just looked at the boxes, and it says glowing lip balm, and because when I started swatching them, I realized that they were not lipsticks, and I am so excited about that fact, because I thought some of these were going to be a little bit out of my shade range, but I am so excited about that fact. So, here are the swatches for the lip balms. Because had this been lipstick, let me tell you, the bottom two would have not worked for me if they had been lipsticks. But as lip balms, I love that fact. And I love how it's not going to be too much of, like, I don't want to say too much of a risk, but it's going to fit more with my skin tone on because it's not going to be that bright or too out there so the same order that they are right there starting from Mr. Mint going down that's what we have here on the swatches so once again it's Mr. Mint right here let's chill and then Peppermint Frost. Sorry, I thought I had it in the frame. Peppermint Frost. But yes, lip balms. These are definitely lip balms, not lipsticks. And I am excited about that fact. So I will try to try these on later. And then I'll show you guys how they look applied on the lips. But swatches wise, here they are one more time. Ow. And I did not mean to do that. So yeah, there they are one more time. So this one right here is the Princess Loli Roller Gloss. And the box is right here on the right side. I definitely love how they did Princess Loli on the box. And then the details on the gloss itself. I am excited about this one. Probably more than anything in this whole collection. And let me tell you why. Because to me, this thing right here reminds me a little bit of my childhood. Because if you were a 90s kid, you know glosses like this were huge growing up. And yeah, here we go, Princess Lily. But they were huge growing up. Like any lip gloss like this. Because they were easy to apply, easy to carry. And they were always like sold in packs of like different scents and flavors and they were just so addicting back then so this i am actually excited about because it does bring back those memories especially with it like the whole candyland theme and the packaging it definitely brings me 90s vibes with that and like i mentioned before the last time color pop did have like a roller gloss and any collection was with their collab with becky g but that was only like a one-time release um those that whole collection never came back even though there was like a lot of demand for it I'm sad I didn't get that collection because like I said the one thing that did pop up to me back then was the roller gloss so I'm happy Colourpop went back with the roller gloss and brought it back for Candyland so let me open this one up I do apologize if it seems like my like the camera is moving but it's because I'm trying to do everything here with one hand to show you guys. So 
so that's how it looks opened right now you see the, the ball tip like that because I haven't applied it yet but if you want to see how glossy it might be let me just do a quick swatch underneath the lip balms so I don't know if you'll be able to see it but it's right underneath that last lip balm swatch it's supposed to be like right here but I'll tell you right off the bat it doesn't seem like that shiny so it's almost like the, how the glosses used to feel back in the 90s but it's not that shiny though but I will tell you one thing it does have a smell it smells nice and sweet like candy so it definitely has that going on I like I don't see anything here I just hope I have like a different effect when I put it on my lips because I don't see it like I don't know if you could like you see the little line right there that's it but it's not like glossy like popping all like crazy like I want to be able to point it out but it's right there but you don't really see it like I could kind of see it right here but it's not sending out like crazy hmm interesting so yeah that was the roller gloss all right so this right here is the three pack of the fourth ray beauty face milk kits and in this you have like the mini sizes of watermelon papaya and coconut face milks i have used their face milks in the past which i absolutely love and i love how they came in with the detail for this collection even the packaging is cute like look at that so let me show you the other side of the box and it shows you again the different face masks that are inside watermelon papaya and coconut so let me take them out of the box real quick and show you more of a closer look of how the packaging of the bottle looks like and then those are the three one more time watermelon papaya and coconut So now we are moving on to the face products, which are the Super Shock Cheek, which are ColourPop's blushes. So there are three in this collection. Um, one more time, just to remind you guys, I did buy the kit. It's not the PR kit, because they had the PR kit and just the regular kit. But the kit comes with the three blushes, and they are Jolly, Gummy More, and gumdrop pass so I am going to take them out of the packaging so you could get a closer look so here are the super shock cheeks opened up and out of the packaging one thing about the super shock cheeks is that whenever you do have the product and you do use it just remember to close them real quick because if you do leave them open the product will dry out and then you're not going to get that much pigmentation or you're not pretty much going to be able to use it because it just hard, gets hardened when you leave them open. So we are going to start with Jolly, Gummy Drop, and Gum Drop. Sorry, I can't remember the last part. Gum Drop has. Yeah. I was about to say the second one again but there are the three and then let's do a quick little swatch so you guys can see them too and once again there is the color pop detail on the lid so let's swatch these babies up real quick so here we are again with the super shock cheeks and then here are the swatches so jolly is the top one then gummy drop and then gum drop pass Personally, I like Jolly a little bit more because it gives me more like the peachy tone and the other two seem a little more pink. Personally, I try not to go too pinkish because I like to find something a little more soft for my skin tone. But the three look nice. They're, they feel nice and smooth when you're like swatching it. But I wish my light was a little bit better. So I, there we go. That might be a little bit better. I kind of went in a little bit more with the top one for Jolly. But I hope these are decent swatches. But I definitely like Jolly a little bit more. So it is Jolly, 
gummy more and gum drop pass. But they're cute. They are definitely cute. So, we also have the Candy Castle eyeshadow palette. As you can see, it has a cute, adorable castle on the front. And I am so excited to open this. I just took it out of the box, but why don't we take a closer look? Alright, there she is all opened. So you have Candyland, Sugar High, Cravings, King Candy, Lord Licorice, Gloppy, Candy Crush, Rainbow Trail, Plumpy, and Grandma Nut. They look so adorable. I could definitely tell you the ones that stand out to me is like Candyland, Rainbow Trail, even King Daddy, Plumpy as well. But why don't we swatch these out? And then we could take a closer look as well to them. Alright, so I just swatched the eyeshadow palette. As you can see, I've already dipped my fingers into them. And then here, here are the swatches. As you can see, there we go. As you can see, some of them do have glitter. Some of them don't. I'm going to keep it 100 with you guys. I expected a little bit more out of this. Because I went in lightly to get swatches. I'll tell you that. I don't want to go in too deep and press my finger. Like too hard. Because I do have long nails at the same time. It's going to break the palette if I dip my finger in too hard. But some of these I expected a little bit more out of. To me the best one in this whole palette is that purple one right there. And that one is plumpy. Um, the ones that definitely definitely has some glitter when I was trying to swatch was Candyland, Candy Crush, and Gloppy. But as you can see, some of them, like when you try to dip your finger, they automatically go like that. Like it's a little bit chalky in a way. That one. But Lord Licorice is actually the second to the left from Plumpy. Plumpy. Sorry, Plumpy. Which is the the purple one right there in the middle um but yeah plumpy is the only one that i absolutely love from this so far like i'm going to try to create an eye look with this and see if it changes my opinion because sometimes swatches are completely different from when you do apply it to your face well when you do apply it on not to sound like rude or anything but like grosera you know, like, like when you apply it to your face but no it's <laughs> I'm going to definitely try to do something with this and see if, if it changes my opinion or not. But so far, mm, esperaba más. I was literally waiting for more. Well, this angle helps them look a little bit better, some of them. Especially Candyland. From this angle, it looks nice. And with the light, it looks better. But I'm definitely going to try to play with these and see if it changes my opinion because right now I'm a little iffy based off the swatches. But we'll definitely be trying it out one more time. And why is my wire in the way? Sorry. <laughs> so yeah, we'll be definitely trying it out one more time and see if it changes my opinion on this. I really wanted to like this. Right now it's 50-50 because, because the swatches could be one thing, when you apply it on could be another. <sighs> but this whole color palette, like it just seems so pretty. Especially with this color, pa color pop candy land theme. Like I really want to like you. So like we'll see how it applies. I will definitely share you with you guys like an update. And on my opinion on that and how it did perform but right now we're 50 50 I'm being honest it's at 50 50 right now but let's move on to the next item all right so to close things off but this ColourPop Candyland collaboration we only have one last item left and it did is the the puff <laughs> and the powder I want to say puff and the powder but it is actually the Pixie Puff Highlighter in Queen Frostine. Yeah. 
so there it is it's nice and cute with the blue um i don't know if i want to do a quick swatch but i'm going to open it up and show you guys because right now my arms are full of swatches see and then my other arm has like the lip balms and the blushes but i'll open her up and then show you how it looks inside so here we have queen frosting open as you can see here is the puff that is on top color pop land i i don't know i'm a sucker for these i really am i like them but let me go through more of it so here is the buff puffy puffy puff 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 <laughs> so there we go with the puff and it's still closed um definitely seems like i would use this more for body like if you want a little more detail like if you're wearing like i don't want to say crop top but like you know no shoulder like we have the shoulders out if you want to like a little more pop to your look i would definitely use it for that but you see the product moving around but you do see some like of the reflection not reflection like how some of it kind of moved over in the box so it's like a hmm. so it's not gonna be like an exaggerated color when you put it on so I feel like it'll be nice and simple but I definitely like that I don't know I just love these right here and it's so nice and soft yeah it's so fluffy but that's so freaking cute I like this I really do but so far that is all we have at least from most from the collection so yeah we have the lip balms right here the boxes the pixie highlighter another blush the face milks princess lolly roller gloss candy castle that's the box because i have the palette right here but yeah, it's the three blushes, the pixie highlighter, the eyeshadow palette, the three lip balms, the roller gloss, and then the face milks. So I think I have everything down. But let's just have a seat and talk about how we feel about this whole thing and go through our final thoughts. So welcome back beauties and that was just you know a little bit of my thoughts and my first impressions on the ColourPop and Candyland collab, ColourPop land. So overall, I'm gonna be honest, I kind of have mixed feelings with this. Like I expected more out of the whole collection, especially one specific item, but let's go down a little bit through what we did go through so I'm gonna start off with one of my favorite products in this whole collab and that is the face milks even though it's a three pack and it has like little special packaging to go with the whole color pop theme the whole color color pop land candy land so for me these are my favorites out of the whole thing because I already love the face milks like the For Free Beauty line, face mugs, they have been amazing. At least for me. I'm obsessed with them. So that's at least a hit in the whole collection. And it's already like watermelon, papaya, coconut milk. The ones that I really like. So for me, this right here was good. As we move along let's talk lip balms so the lip balms came in this little cute little packaging let me see if i can get it there we go so obviously it's a cute little candy land theme and I, as i mentioned before i don't know why some of this packaging is getting me in the mood for holiday wise because you see the uh, the candy canes and a little bit of, of all that but and i'm gonna say but at first, I thought these were lipsticks, but I'm glad they're not because 
as I mentioned it in the, in the video. Sorry, I'm dropping stuff. But as I mentioned in the video, I feel like only one of these would have been okay with my skin tone, at least for me, if they were lipsticks. But they're not, so that's good. They're just lip balms, and they, based off the swatches, you know, this is how like one of them looks like. And based off what we went through, I like them. Swatches wise, they didn't feel like too dry or anything. I tried one on, felt okay. It's a lip balm, so I'm happy, I'll take it. And it has cute little candy canes on its packaging. So for me, these were good. Something that I really wanted, like I was excited about the most out of this whole thing was the roller gloss because the last time ColourPop had a roller gloss in any of their collections was with the Becky G collab. And if you remember correctly, it was just like the one time only things happened. That collab never got restocked. No mention of it ever again. So with this collection, I love how the roller gloss came back. And it's this cute little pink candy lollipop packaging for Princess Loli. Or Princess Lolly. As you would like to say, my little Latino side comes out. But this is it. And it's pink. It's cute. For me, it brings back the 90s nostalgic feel to me. Because if you grew up in the 90s in that era, you know these were huge. Like this style of gloss were huge back then. It was either this or the lip smackers back in the 90s. But let's not get sidetracked. So with this, I really was excited for I have mixed feelings about it because for the whole Candyland theme it definitely smells like candy it smells nice and sweet which I will give it that like I said it brings me back to those memories of the 90s with the smells and the feels and the gloss and the packaging but I don't see that much Glossy coming out. Look, I'm doing this. Where is it? And I said if it was pretty good that I was going to order another one from Ulta because Ulta also has the collection along with ColourPop on the website. But I gave it a couple of different tries and still look, Mina, it's dry. I don't know if it's just the applicator on mine's. I'm not getting anything. Like, I keep going back and forth. I'm not getting anything. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here or. Like, I don't. No, oh, wait a minute. Finally! A little bit. But yeah, you don't really see that much of the fight. But, like, let me get this closer. Like, I just see a little bit. But it's not as I expected it to be. Like, for the way roller glosses used to be back then, it's not what I thought it would be. So, cute packaging. I'll give it that. But I expected more out of it. Moving on, the blushes. There's three. There's Jolly. And this is on the box because so we could go over how it looks gummy more and then gumdrop pass so you have the three don't mind if one's upside down or not but you have the three for the color pop blushes i say they're good did i like all three yeah they're nice but i'm just gonna stick to one mostly because of like i feel like one goes more for my skin tone um, I don't like going too pink because I feel like it's going to offset stuff on my makeup sometimes or I go a, ten go a little bit lighter when it's like a pinker. But the one I said I was going to use more I think was Jolly. That was the one I liked more out of the three. But I did like it. I did like the blushes. I'm not going to complain. It's just, but I'm not that big on blush. So that's why I'm not going to go like this whole hoopla about it. So it is what it is. And last but not least, we have 
the Candy Castle eyeshadow palette. I expected more. I really did expect more out of this palette because like swatches wise, as we saw, I had mixed feelings because some of them were okay, some of them weren't, you couldn't really tell. And then some had glitter, which didn't seem like it would have glitter. But here it is, like for this whole color story, this whole palette, I expected something better. I Like I love a lot of ColourPop's eyeshadows and their products. And this one I really, really wanted to love because like I said, I loved how this looked. And the one shadow I did like absolutely love and like is the best out of all of them. It's this one right here. And that one is Plumpy. And that's the only one that I really liked out of all of them. Some of them just felt like a little bit chalky. I expected more out of it. When I bought, when I got the whole collection, when I got the whole collection, I regretted not getting the PR the PR box because I wanted the board game that came with it. But no, I'm, I'm kind of glad I didn't because I'm having mixed feelings with this whole collection. There's hit, there's some okay, there's some hits, and then there's just like complete mess so i expected a little bit more out of this because it's cute packaging it's a cute concept like like i said this this could have been cute like i'm gonna try it one more time but at this moment it just doesn't feel like it was it for me like i love a lot of color pop products trust me I do because I like to use a lot of their eyeshadow palettes a lot and this one didn't hit the mark for me I love its packaging but that's it like on, I only feel happy with one eyeshadow in this whole thing so I'm kind of bummed and it took me a little bit to get to this whole thing because I had a couple things going on and then when I finally got to dig in I was like the anticipation went. So I really wanted to love it. But overall, I just have mixed feelings of this whole collection. It's just my honest, honest thoughts about it. Like I said, I really wanted to love it because I was so excited about it it was a cute concept but like i said i'm gonna see if i can do something with this make it survive somehow otherwise like it didn't do anything for me like the roller gloss i'm disappointed the eyeshadow palette i'm disappointed blushes i'm okay with the lip balms i'm good and the face smokes I'm okay with. It's just the roller gloss and the eyeshadow palette that didn't do it for me. So that's all I have for you guys today. Like I said, it was a bit of a while to get to it, but we finally got to it. And like I said, the, my anticipation for it kind of changed as things went along. But like I said, it's 50 50 for me. If you, what works for me, doesn't necessarily mean it will work for you everybody works differently but for me this just didn't it's 50 50 because i like some products i didn't like the whole thing so it's up to you if you want to invest in this or if you want to use your ulta points because it's still in ulta but it's up to you for me it's just 50 50 because it's the main things i wanted kind of didn't do it for me but if you guys have any questions or if you want me to go through something more specific at this whole collection, let me know in the comments down below. If there's anything you guys want to see in a future video, again, let me know in the comments or hit me up on my different social media channels. 
and the blog because I also have a contact form there. But like I said, anything you guys want to see, let me know. So that's all I have for you guys today. We got more videos coming up along the way. And I'll see you guys in the next video here in the beauty room. Bye, beauties.